everyone, it's Hal. We are talking about hard to say. Dan Fogelberg's version is fantastic. It's really good, especially the solo guitar version. So let's just jump right into it and I'll show you what to do here. Okay, so what we do is um, we've got an open D tuning. D, A, D, F sharp, A, D. Oh, he does this first, which is um, in his solo version, that's what he does. So let's show you what he does here. So he plays an open A string and he plays first fret, second fret. I'm doing hammer-ons and then I'm playing the low D and the D string. So the, the E string and the D string, which are both tuned to D. And then you play the 12th fret harmonic and then the 7th fret harmonic and the 12th fret harmonic. So it goes like this. So I think he does like an open string and maybe a hammer on into that G with the B bass. Now, if you're just jumping into this guitar lesson and you don't know what these chords are, I'm naming these chords G with the B bass, A7, D. Okay, so if you need to, here, you get a card right there and it will take you back to the chords so you can know what these chords are. So I'll wait for you to do that and then come right back. All right, here we go. So we got this. G with the B bass, A7 to open D, 12, 7, 12, open D to G minor, A with the C sharp bass, G with the B bass, open D again, 12, 7, 12 harmonics, open D, G with the B bass, and then he does this little thing right here, right? So it's kind of cool. So he slides up, plays it twice there, plays the third fret on the G string, slides back down from four to two, and then plays A string two to four. And then we play an open chord like that. So we're playing this G with the B bass. Let's do that again. So it goes G with the B bass. Open, 12, 7, 12, open, G minor, play it twice like that. So you play it and you kind of let up on it and then you play it again. A with a C sharp bass, G with a D bass, and then we're into the verse. Lucky at love, then maybe so. So that's the first line. Open D. Lucky at love. So when he says the word lucky, he hits that 12th fret harmonic. Lucky at love, A with a C sharp. Well, maybe on May, maybe so. And then this is open A to the hammer on to the second fret. Open D, back to A string. Second fret, pull off, and then open. Again, open uh, chord. Let's do that again, ready? Lucky at love, well maybe so. There's still a lot of things you'll never know. Okay, so right there, open D, there's still a lot of things you'll never, right there, that G minor, never open. Like why, on why, you hit that harmonic. Like why each time the sky begins. I think it's on sky. Like why each time the sky begins to snow. A7, you cry. And then we go, open. And 
then we start the second stanza. So what we do here is we play open 12, open D, G with a B bass, A with a C sharp bass, G minor three times, A with a C sharp bass, G with a B bass. You're faithful to her in your careless way. Let me do that figure again. I'm going to call it figure one. So you miss her when she's far away. But every time you think you've got it straight, A7, you fall. G with a B bass, A7, 12, 7, 12, G minor twice, A with a C sharp bass, G with a B bass, and then we do the next stanza. There's two more before we go into the bridge. You face the future with a weary past. Figure one. Those dreams you've banked upon are fade. Right there, I'm fading. G minor, then fast. You know you love her, but it may not last. A7, you fear 12. It's never easy and it's never clear. Figure one, who's to navigate and who's to steer? And so you flounder, drifting ever near. The rocks, 12, 7, 12. Now this is different. The little musical interlude that goes between this fourth stanza and the bridge goes like this. Open D, open D, G minor, A with a C sharp bass to A chord, right there on the seventh fret. Now we're into the bridge, G with a B bass. It's hard to say where love went wrong. E7, and then we go open D, it's hard to say, G with the B bass, just when so hard, C sus 2, to say it's hard to walk away from love, it may never, E minor, come again, so we got E minor, F sharp, G minor, and we hold it, until we want to go, and these are pull-offs here. E, uh, it's an E note to a D, pull-off, like second fret on the D string, pull-off off to open, A string, pull-off to open. And then we go right back to, you do your best to keep your hand in play, figure one, and keep, try to, let's see, and try to keep those lonesome blues, E, G minor, at bay. You think you're winning, but it's hard to say sometimes. Now, in his recording in 1997, you can look it up, he did, he did a live recording. Well, he didn't do it. Somebody, it looks like there's a handheld camera. It's a little blurry. I think that's before, definitely, it's before I had a cell phone at all. And uh, cell phones were not good with pictures then. But he does one, two, three, four. He does five of these uh, musical interludes. The first one goes like this. Open, 12, 7, 12. Then he does G minor, A with C sharp bass, G with the B bass, 12, 7, 12. And then he goes to G with the B bass, Right? In fact, you might do a A with a C sharp bass to open, 12, 7, 12, G minor, A with a C sharp bass, G with a B bass, 12, 7, 12, and then he goes, then he does this little figure, the figure one. No, that's a figure A. I'm going to call this a figure A. Right? Like we did at the beginning. And then he does one more thing going into the bridge, just like he did before. G 
G minor, A chord. It's hard to say where law E7 belong. It's hard to say just when. It's so hard to say. It's hard to walk away from love. It may never E minor come again. Then you do those pull offs, second fret to open, second fret to open on the A string. And then we're back to the verse one. Lucky at love, well, maybe so. Figure one. There's still a lot of things you'll never know. Like why each time the snow guy begins to snow, you cry. Let's see. I don't remember what he does here. No, he doesn't do that. I think it does that. 12, 7, 12, G with the B bass, A7, 12, 7, 12, G minor, 12, 7, 12. And he goes like this. Is it figure A? And I think that's what he does right there. Open, 12, 7, 7, 12. And then he does something, and I'm not sure exactly what it is. Something, but it, but it sounds kind of like that. What I did in my cover was I did this. Like that. So I just played an open string chord, the D chord, and I did, because it sounded like that's what he did. But I don't know how he did it, because it didn't look like his finger was down there, and then he did that. I like that. That sounds really good. This note right here is a D9 with that that note in there, with that E. And that's it. That's hard to say. Well, thanks for being here. Thanks for coming along with me and learning hard to say. I appreciate you being here. and. Um, Let's see, I've got a Patreon page, and if you want the lead sheet to this song, and it's kind of complicated, you know what I mean? Um, I'll put the, the chords over there and the lead sheet over there, what I've got. In fact, I might just do a copy of this lead sheet that I did with the pencil markings on it and everything, just to let you see it. It's in my Quail Studios Music and Lead Sheets book that you can get at Patreon, or you can uh, email me at lessonswithhal at gmail.com and order it from there. Um, thanks for being here. That helps to support me and what I do. And uh, we'll talk to you later. Subscribe to the channel and ring the bell if you want to. Like that. And we'll talk to you later.